Hello everyone, the last game we played related to Harry Potter on Caravan O Garbage was the very first Harry Potter game. And what a delightful time we had, presumably, if oh, I can remember. I don't really remember it too well. Harry Potter. Let me out! This, though, is the very ah! last Harry Potter game. Ooh, that'll ever be made. Uh, definitely not. Wow. I'm just going to turn this down. I'm just going to... Oh, oh, bloody left the remote over here. <laughs> Take this all out, then. So basically, you know how the last one was like a run around Hogwarts and... uh. And all those kind of things. I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a third-person shooter. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Advanced expert? Won't even let me do expert. <laughs> God. What kind of game is this? But you are an expert. You've, I'm you've, an expert in Harry Potter yeah, lore. Yeah, exactly. You've got your Gryffindor cardigan on. <laughs> what do you think this means to anybody who doesn't know anything about Harry Potter? Uh, Spelliarmus doesn't mean something. I think your book. Protego is the part, like... Is it isn't it behind your balls? Is that your potato? <laughs> also, you've only seen Harry Potter 1 to 4, so this is spoiling the last movie in the series for you, I've I seen, guess. I've seen everything except the last two, I think. No, I think you haven't seen the last four. Oh, no. Because the last one was broken into two. Right. And I think you went up to the one where he has to fight a dragon. His teachers no, no, make I've him seen fight the one, a dragon. No, no, I've seen the one where Dumbledore dies. Oh, okay. I'm up yeah. to that one. Okay. And then I'm like, mm, how how's this going to play out? I don't mind. Well, now you know. Ooh. He gets his bloody wand stolen. Oh no! So the cu the voice cast is uh, it's not it's it's not the people from the movies. Most of them, I think okay. Warwick Davis is in it, but it's it's not it's, they're not terrible likenesses. So basically, at the start, we have to break into Gringotts no. Bank mm -hmm. to steal a chalice. Does which, this happen in the movie? I don't know. Okay. No, it does. <laughs> okay. And we're helped by Warwick Davis there. Terrific. He's going to be involved. Yeah, those likenesses are pretty good. They're not bad. Yeah. I just mean the voice likenesses. Oh, okay, yeah. right. Oh, there'll be a Horcrux in Lestrange Vault. <laughs> also, the reason I wanted to play this in particular... Your Lestrange Vault is just behind your balls? Just, <laughs> no, just Mason, that's your critique, Craig. Oh, wrote. sorry. But the reason I wanted to play this one in particular is because if this lines up with the movie, mm -hmm. you should fight a dragon at the end of this level. Oh, wow, that's that escalates quickly. I believe so. Yeah. So in the depths of this vault, mm -hmm. this goblin vault, there's a dragon. There's a dragon. Well, I guess that makes sense because dragons hoard treasure, right? Yeah. No, this one's just trapped there. Oh, it's like <laughs> albino, and it's been there for like a hundred years, and it's the last <laughs> line of defense. Aside from everything else going in. Oh, so there's Ron in a, in a little beard. <laughs> they can disguise. What do you think? That looks like Tim Burton's wife. It is Tim Burton's wife. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> Not an accident. Uh -huh. So they've used the Polyjuice Potion to disguise themselves. Hermione's, as Tim Burton's as wife. As Tim Burton's wife, wife to, right. to get in. And Ron's just put on a fake beard. I was going to say, what, did you only have one <laughs> serve of the potion? They should have gone with two Tim Burton's wife. Yes. Or Tim Burton. <laughs> yes. Though they're no longer together. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, but okay. this basically, this magic water... They're together in my heart, but yes. Yes, washes off any enchantments. Oh, so we can no that was quick. So we can no longer be Tim Burton's wife and Ron no longer has a beard. Why is there a waterfall inside a bank vault? To wash away the fake beards, Mason. Oh, yeah, okay, good point. Do you not know anything about Harry Potter? I don't, this movie I, you I haven't seen. Like, I thought I knew a lot about bank vaults, but apparently not. Mm. I mean, in Australia, and I presumably everywhere else except England, where they have this kind of system, mm. just a big wall goes up if you try to rob a bank. Big wall, yep, exactly. Okay. Sometimes there's a dye pack in the bag. Yeah, right. It, it stains the notes, but in this, you're killed by a dragon. Yeah. It doesn't look very, super bank vaulty. As of yet. No, it's just a big old cavern. Harry Potter, he's the biggest fan of himself. Here he goes. <laughs> Are you sure that's true? I feel mm. he's often quite down on himself. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Mm. Maybe like when he comes into his own and like he saves the day, I'm sure he'd be like, yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. In that's... the fifth one, he talks about how he's pretty good. Yeah, right. Because he's really coming into his uh, press and hold. Oh, press and hold select. <laughs> he's really coming into his press and hold, you know? Yes. <laughs> Five's the one where he really hits puberty and he's got Voldemort in his, in his mind. Yeah, right. Right. Well, and that's so confusing gets, for a young man, isn't yes, it? Yes, it certainly is. I mean, puberty's hard enough without yeah, yeah. having a weird demon. Now, man I, now I do know, having not seen the last couple of movies, but I do know at the end there's a time jump forward and we see him yes. as an older man. Do you think at that point he's just he's just full of stories about how he <laughs> he once defeated Voldemort? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. right. Though if you've read uh, The Cursed Child or seen them play, mm -hmm. he's just kind of... A, people don't like it because he's kind of a deadbeat dad. So his son goes to Hogwarts. I'm going to spoil a little bit of it. I won't spoil the whole thing. Okay. He's got two sons. One of the sons is like this Gryffindor hero who everybody loves. Uh -huh. And the other one is put into Slytherin and is more kind of like... These look like regular bank guards. <laughs> really are, oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you wearing a tie and a name tag? That guy's got a gun. <laughs> like a regular gun. <laughs> Harry Potter! I'm Harry Potter! You've been stupefied, you chump. I'm Harry Potter! Well, that guy's got a lot of lasers going on. 
Anyway, um, I thought everybody in the same family is put in the same house. Is no, it can be because there's been exceptions to that. For Ooh. example, uh, Sirius Black is from a family of evil no gooders. Okay, but he uh, of Slytherin characters, but he was put into Gryffindor, and it was a big upset Ooh. in the Black household. Nice, I bet. Yeah, so there are exceptions, and Harry Potter is one of them. Also, if you go into a particular house, doesn't mean that you necessarily are going to be good or evil or whatever. Because the guy who turned into a rat and watched Ron get changed for 12 years, <laughs> 12 years yeah, uh-huh. he was in Gryffindor Oh, also. I see, right. So, okay. It's very much like just, just sports houses in a regular school, where it's like, yeah. you're in yellow. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Doesn't mean it. anything. Yeah. I mean, you do if you've got certain traits, you lean towards certain houses. But also, yeah, I'm quite a coward, yeah. so that's why I was always <laughs> put in I'm yellow. But, but that being said, you can tell the hat what to put you in. What? So if you go, if the hat goes on your head, yes, you can say, "Oh, I just want to go in Gryffindor." What? Yeah, that's what his son does at one point because the the cursed child is set in multiple timelines, and in right. one of them he's just like, "I choose Gryffindor." But he wait wasn't a second. Yeah, look, I'm sh- I, I realize we haven't really talked about the game yet, but I'm quite <laughs> confused. So does does everybody know this? No. Okay, it's not coming say, out. right. But in the first Harry Potter movie and book the hat goes on his head and he's like oh you got a lot of good Slytherin traits here and he's like and Harry's just muttering to himself not Slytherin not Slytherin so Uh it goes all right Gryffindor and so he pretty much willed himself into that house interesting uh, even though he does have the he's got the the heart of a hero and and also the soul of Voldemort in his head (laughs) he's got that scaly oily skin of a Slytherin so (laughs) I understand yeah yeah yeah. for sure all right let's now let's get into this game all right we're looking at some stuff we've shot some guards so that's good they're dead right yeah they're dead now good this is not a bad looking game this is PlayStation 3 2011 okay yeah pretty good uh it's it got an absolute drumming though Oh, in, in the reviews. in the press. Yeah, well, it goes. It only goes for like two and a half hours, apparently. Right. Okay. That's fall. often the problem. That see, that's the problem with video game adaptations of movies, as they're, we've talked about. They're really good. All they're the all really great. You either have to make it as long as the movie, yeah, which isn't enough if you're paying seventy bucks for it, yes, or whatever. But also, if you make it ten hours, you're really padding out that yeah, storyline. Yeah, that's line. right. And that's it's like, well, Harry, you've, you've got to defeat Voldemort, but first you have to grind away and raise your skill level for six hours. I don't <laughs> yeah. want to. Did you see the footage of the new Harry Potter game? No. It looks kind of... People thought it was the Arkham team, but it's not. It is coming from Warner Brothers. Uh-huh. This blind fire is horrible. Look at that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's set like 100 years in the past, and you pick a character, and it's kind of a bit RPG, and you go through... There's leaked footage. I probably can't put it in this video, because it will get Warner Brothers will come to my house and... I Flog know. you. I guess they get to keep my dog. Is that the rule? Yeah, they get you, to keep your dog, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They've got so many dogs. Yeah, I know, right? But they have a nice farm and they get to... The they get to gets. shoot as many as they want. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. I finally gained Protego. Yes. That's good. When well, you're a young man, so... <laughs> yeah. Gets Jeez, all that guy's got a lot of lasers going just on. Has a mach- that guy straight up has a machine gun. Yeah. It's yeah. right, pretty cool. Watch this. Okay, Protego... Oh. Ooh, oh, that's not pretty good. Bad. Oh, you can't shoot and Protego at the same time, it seems, though. Right. Bang, 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 I have a gun too! <laughs> bang, bang, bang! Should have had Protego. You're yeah. a security guard. Why don't you have Protego? Or, or a real gun. A real gun would work. I mean, a real gun would definitely no, work. No, not against Protego. But like you... What about a potato? Yeah. <laughs> Someone's throwing potatoes at you. But I guess, like, if you were hiring security guards to work at a bank... Yeah. Magical security guards. Wouldn't you be like, so give us some give us some Protego, mate. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got? Well, you can use it. Anybody can use Protego. Yeah, you just have to say You're Protego. Just say Protego. So you got to say Protego and really believe in yourself. Shields and then you've yeah, got it. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not really sure how magic works. It seems, again, as a, as, a, as a Harry Potter layman, it seems a lot like... Most of Harry Potter's magic is just saying yes the, the spell and thinking about it pretty hard. Though in the, and also you have to be magic. Oh sure yeah uh huh yeah you just have to have that in you. That being said, you don't as you get better you don't even have to say it. You can just yeah think just it. think it right yeah uh huh. Which is kind of I guess I guess in his head he's going bang 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 bang. bang. I'm a machine gun. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Uh, right, how are you feeling about this gameplay so it's far? It's fine. It's the the. The more you shoot, the more inaccurate it gets. If you look at the uh, things, so yeah, you just yeah. kind of... <laughs> you're just flailing away. Yeah, okay, it yeah. doesn't... Uh, the speed of Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, you've got to recharge that Protego, you know what I mean? Got to, mate. Yeah, exactly. There's a refractory period for your Protego. <laughs> What's up here? Maybe some kind of... Is it something else? Cave here? wall? I saw a cave wall. I saw a little... Oh, that's no, just a little torch or something. Good. See, because we can't hear the audio, so there's probably like... Harry! The, the ghost of Dumbledore is probably like, Join Ron and Hermione! <laughs> He's been saying it for like 10 minutes. One million points to Gryffindor. 
Anyway, you're looking forward to Fantastic Beasts, Johnny Depp's in yeah, this one? Oh, well, until you said that. Yeah. I was on board for half that sentence. Well, it was in, apparently, by the time of recording this, we haven't seen it. It's, been, it's a mixed response. So, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, which is kind of disappointing to hear because I quite like the last one. Yeah, me too. And I like these films in general, yeah. except for one, two, three. <laughs> right, sure. But other than that, basically. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, it was, was there a collapsing bridge in this movie? None of this is. This is still two and a half <laughs> hour game. There's a lot of... Okay. There's not a third person scene where Harry Potter just shoots a bunch of guards. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I was going to say, so in the movie, pretty much, they just go down the bank vault and they see the dragon. Yeah, like, stuff happens and they, you oh, know, yeah, pretty they, good. they go under the waterfall. Look, uh-huh. I'm not even close to You're this guy. You're not even close. i got to get my refractory period. Oh, yeah. I've got a, tr- a trophy, a good Ooh. offense. Thank you. That guy's gone. Now, can you just leap off the side here? No. Bang! <laughs> bang, 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 you're dead. Where did they go? They're dead. They turn to ash? They, yeah, they turn to ash and that ash goes to hell. <laughs> but, it, <laughs> but it goes up. Yeah, it, that's... I get, we're down pretty low, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I, 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 one thing I do know about the Harry Potter universe is actually everything that takes place in the movies is actually in the level below hell. Oh, all okay. these characters are so evil yeah. and bad that they, they all live below hell. Oh. They'd have to improve their standing in the world. So if you die and turn to ash and go to hell, it's actually... It's actually a better not for a them. Bad yeah, exactly. Deal. Like, I mean, everybody in this universe owns like little slave elves. That's true. That live in their house. That you could free at any point. If you By doing the sock. easiest thing, yeah. If I lived in this, if I lived in that universe, what I would do is I would just go to like Costco and I'd buy like fifty pairs of socks <laughs> and I just keep them in the trunk of my car. And then every time I saw one of those elves, I'd be like, "Here, have a sock." No, you have You're to free own now. Them. Oh, no, that's yuck. Also, the thing about those elves are they're yes. way more magical than people on their own. Right. They're very powerful. Okay. They don't need wands to do magic. They can just do okay. it. Okay. So is the fear that if you free one of these elves, it will They'll kill you. visit your re- revenge on them? <laughs> really? No. Well, I guess it might be for some because not yeah. all of them are nice. There's that really racist one. <laughs> well, I'm near this guy in the balls. Yeah. Hit him in the balls. Use your potato. I was trying to. And hit him in the potato. I, I couldn't aim at his balls then. Wow. Well, I see why this was rubbished in the press. <laughs> if you can't hit somebody in the balls. Bang, Who's bang, this bang. guy? That's a diff- slightly different guy. He's got a different shirt on. Is he like the captain of the guards? I don't know. The, bre- the darker shirt indicates how many uh, dependent children you have. Oh. And you've killed him. Well, at so. least he's in hell. At yeah, at least he's in, in hell. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Open this door. I was about to say, because she's used that a few times leading up here. Why would this bank vault allowed that <laughs> yes. particular charm to work. Look, we've got the strongest security uh, in, 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 the, in the wizarding world, but we've forgotten that just a 17-year-old girl can open this bank vault. <laughs> you, just, you just learn a, sp- a spell you, you learned in school. Word, yeah, that's the first thing you learn. Yep. In the balls. In the balls. There we go. Whoa. Oh, that's yeah, spooky. he's gone to hell, so that's fine. Happening here? They don't even know where I am. If you They're get so confused, if you get in real close, can you just swat somebody with that wand? Can you just believe. crack him over the head with it? <laughs> Stab him in the eye. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's what you want. Ah, nice. Shoot him in the back, Harry Potter style. That's, that's the Slytherin coming out. In the balls. Yeah, got I him. think that got him in the balls. I tell you what, if you got stupefied in the balls, you know, mm-hmm. having more kids, mate. You are. <laughs> you think done. that's you think that's permanent? Definitely. You think all this is permanent? Yeah, it's definitely all permanent. It all has ramifications to the wizarding community. Or your kid comes out like cross-eyed or something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a hills yeah. have eyes look at kid. Or even worse, comes out Hufflepuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just a real dunce. Yeah, yeah, wow. Now, to all you Hufflepuffs listening, just we remember. We meant that. We yeah, meant it. Yeah. And it's not a real thing. <laughs> You're not really a Hufflepuff. But, uh, uh, now, we've talked about Harry Potter a bit on our podcast, The Weekly Planet. Mm-hmm. And of all the... Because f- we constantly butcher the law. As yeah, we've sure. been doing for this now, uh-huh. me so me more so than you, I feel because you know a little bit. Yeah, uh-huh. but they are they're, they're very insistent. The fans when we get mm-hmm. things wrong, but they're also very polite. They're very polite about it. It's so, true. The Transformers are borderline illiterate. The people who defend it. <laughs> Whoa. Is it that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who defend those movies? Yeah, for sure. Uh, which I think also might have to do with a lot of the countries that like them aren't English speaking. Okay, that might sure, have an right. Aspect uh-huh. of it. Yeah. But the Harry Potter fans are like, well, technically, you know, it's it's, it's very they're very nice about it. Exactly. And yeah. then we can say, shut up, nerds. Yeah, you Hufflepuff. <laughs> you bunch of hoofle prophers. <laughs> what I enjoy about this is. I, I'm assuming that that stupefy is non-lethal. Yeah. But you a- are stupefying people like off. Off cliffs. Yes. To their deaths. That guy did a flip. I can smell the dragon. Can you smell it, Mason? No. I can't smell it either. Oh, yeah. And I've got the sound off so I can't hear it. <laughs> and we can't hear Dumbledore with his encouragement. That's true. Harry. Seems a bit warm down here, Harry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why would it be ordinary fire? 
Why would there be ordinary fire in a magical cave bank <laughs> vault? Harry, or whoever said that, probably Ron. Oh, here we go. I did smell a dragon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That would be a problem in this bank vault yeah, if there was yeah. an ordinary fire. Yeah. This place definitely doesn't have exactly. smoke alarms. I was going to say, you'd be like... Bang! Bang, 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 bang! You'd be bang. like, I don't have a, I don't have a, a, a clear-out smoke <laughs> ventilation spell. We're going we're gonna to asphyxiate. Just normal <laughs> asphyxiate, not magical. <laughs> That's not a bad, that's a good looking dragon. Not bad. Kevin Smith has a theory, I remember hearing it, because he's a big fan of these movies, uh-huh. uh, a few years back, that this dragon, because you end up releasing it, you uh-huh. use it to escape. Yep. Uh, you fly out on it. And because it's this, people see it as this tortured, half blind creature. Yes. Who's been trapped by the goblins. Uh huh. But what if this creature was their Hitler? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, hundreds of years prior to this. The goblins Hitler? No, no. The dragon is their Hitler. Like, oh. it murdered millions oh, of them. Oh, I see, right. So people are like, this poor dragon. But yeah. what if it's their Hitler? <laughs> what if it's goblin Hitler? I guess, sure. <laughs> so that's a guy there. I should specify. See that guy there? Yep. If what happens to him was what ha- in the movie, what happens to him here... The grey-haired goblin yes. is under a spell to okay. just go along with them. He's, he's not. He's not in his right mind. He's not. He's not part of the team. He's no. been ensorcelled. And if I recall correctly, he's been from, enchanted. Yeah, from the movie, he yep. gets torched to death. Terrific. So, so he was here against his will. Yes. <laughs> is he evil or is he just a guy? Who no, works he's just in a, a dude bank? who works at the bank. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's trapped Hitler. Hitler dragon, so he's he's the greatest goblin hero. I guess so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or he's time. the or he's one of the worst because he's trapped an innocent dragon. Exactly. Yeah, I don't want. See, that's the thing. He, the dragon looks evil, mm. but I don't want to judge a book by its cover. I mean, what dragon ever looks good? Like a nice looking dragon, except for the Braveheart dragon, obviously. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. The Braveheart. Do you mean Dragonheart? I mean the Braveheart. Do you mean dragon, the dragon basically. in Braveheart? <laughs> yes. <laughs> William Wallace's dragon that he that yeah. he that he flew into battle yeah, on. Yeah, Haggis the dragon. Mm. Here we go. Do you think those goblets are worth anything? No, because they are copies of the original. Still. To stop you from escape. To stop you from getting the the main one. Oh, okay, right. So it spills out multiple ones, and it dr- basically it's going to drown you in. Burn but I'm copies. saying, like, surely you could go to like a cash converters or like some sort of pawn shop. With a with a with a wheelbarrow full of golden, <laughs> no, but they goblet. also burn. Oh, it was okay. like hot to touch. Well, you could you could leave them out the front of your house, free firewood. Yeah, I think I didn't get torched. That's dis- that's disappointing. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Whee! Oh, we're having a good time. Just a couple of kids riding a dragon. dragon. Hitler dragon is free. <laughs> we're friends <laughs> with Hitler the dragon. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's the level. This wow. is fine. It's pretty fine. I mean, you wouldn't want to pay full price for it because it's not a great shooter. Well, I was hoping the next level would be we fly on a dragon and we slap it on the back of the head and it shoots fire and burns stuff. That would have been great. But we're not. that's not happening, so why bother? Why bother? Anyway, this has been Caravan of Garbage. We do this every Tuesday. Sometimes we do a book, a video game, a, a bloody movie, a comic, whatever. What do you, what what do you, what do you what want us to do? Fancy? Leave a comment. Last week we did a Voldemort Origins uh Fan film. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Boy, was it, wasn't it? Looked pretty good. That's the extent of it. Yeah, you can watch sure the did, video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, also, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet, as mentioned, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. We do have an ep- we have multiple episodes on Harry Potter, and we've oh, got so one many. upcoming on Fantastic Beasts, and Johnny Depp's in this one. Uh, yeah. Bloody check that out if have you Have a want. listen, look, uh, prepare your polite emails. <laughs> we do read them yeah. and tweets. So. Absolutely. Mm. Thanks for watching, though. Uh, grab that gem, you guys. But we'll see you next week. Goodbye. I'm Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I'm the greatest wizard.